Risa, I asked Tony about, you know, being in double figures tonight and finding your groove, even though, you know, maybe some of those bunnies didn't fall for you early. And he mentioned, you know, his dad was at practice and talked to guys about outlasting your doubt. And if that, is that something that stuck with you, you guys through this week? And, and how did you feel tonight getting to that, maybe that, that sort of double figure plateau? Um, I feel like it definitely stuck with me tonight. Just, um, you know, like you said, the bunnies weren't falling, but that's the game. And, you know, Coach Bennett just, he tells us that every day, just play through mistakes, um, just play free. So, you know, with the game, mistakes are going to come. So just, you know, I definitely feel like that helped me just, you know, play through it and just knowing just next play. What, what's working on defense for you guys? Uh, I think it's four straight games where you guys have held opponents to 55 or fewer. Uh, what's, what's worked for you guys, in your opinion? I would definitely say communication. Um, you know, the coaches just week in, week out, just um, that's kind of been the emphasis is just talking um, and just getting a feel for each other. It was um, this early in the season. We were still figuring each other out. So, you know, with a couple, couple games on the belt, I feel like we're coming together good. In, in the same vein, how how much does it help knowing that you're feeling a little bit more of that communication and you have someone that Caden back there can maybe do some cleanup if things go astray that helps you maybe get in some of those passing lanes or take more chances with steals? So I feel like that's been something that's really been a difference between your game last year and this year. Yeah, I feel like Caden is a, a best. It's like it's kind of just like a safety. You kind of just have him in the back just in case. You, don't, you still have to do your part on the ball, but you just have a – with him um, – being back there blocking shots, it helps us a lot. Just, you know, mistakes are going to happen. So with him being back there, just blocking shots and being ready, he's helping us out a lot. You've been piling up the steals this year. I know some guys keep track of the points they have over the course of a game. Are you keeping a tab in your head on, <laughs> nah, on, I just, on the steals? <laughs> I just know, <laughs> nah, I don't, the first game, I know the first couple games I had like, like six, I think, and then five. So everybody kept telling me, but yeah, I haven't really been keeping track of that. I just, you know, I just got there and play. Has that always been a big part of your game, defensively, collections uh, and steals, or is it? Something? It definitely coming coming to UVA. It definitely grown because I always been. I always took pride in my defense, but just you know, coming here definitely took my defense to another level, and I think that's going to help me later in, in, in basketball. In your time here, how much do you think you've at the offensive end? How much do you think you've grown from the assertiveness aspect? Do you feel like you're assertive enough? Yeah, it's just um, just playing the game off two two feet, making sound plays, and you know taking taking shots when you need to when they need to be took. So, you know, this having Coach Bennett has a lot of confidence in everybody. So, he putting that confidence in me and helped me a lot, and just you know feel like he can take my game farther. Uh, yeah, definitely. Just coming in, you you know, you don't know your role, so you just don't really know what to expect. So you just have to let it come to you, and then and then just kind of feel it. Yeah. How do you guys look at Monday's Monday's opportunity with with Iowa coming to town? It's another marquee game. You guys have played a couple the last few nights, and then uh, Houston last week. How do you look at this this Monday's uh, opportunity? Just another test for us. Just a uh, just another game on the schedule. So we we're gonna treat it like like the game tonight. Just come in, prepare. We know um, they have a very good offense. Just scoring a lot of points, and us being a defensive team, we're gonna take pride in you know getting stops and just having an overall good game. So we'll be prepared. Last one, so I got to ask you about that dunk. Um, I, somebody had to do it. I'll, it'll be me. Uh, take us through that play. Um, what What were you thinking, and did were, Did you have any doubt you were actually going to be able to yoke <laughs> on that kid? It was okay. I'm a with Kihei. He was, you know, as good as he is. Ball pressure. I knew I can, you know, get in a gap and take a gamble. So the ball was kind of just there. So I, you know, got the steal. I didn't know that. I took off kind of far, so I didn't know if it was really going to be a layup or a dunk. So I, I happened to be able to dunk it, so, you know, I just dunked it. So, How do you feel the interior defense has really grown? I know it's only been seven games, but have you felt progression between you and Caden down there? And how do you feel, like, what else would you like to see you develop over the next few games? Uh, just keep improving in, you know, what you see from me. What I do and keep getting better at it, and obviously keep adding stuff to it. Um, nothing specific, but just keep playing hard. Brad. 
probably sometimes in seasons, it takes teams a little bit of time for guys to sort of figure out their roles and kind of figure out the way everything fits. How do you feel like your role, what do you feel like your role is on this team and how do you feel like you're fitting into it right now? I feel like my role has just been what it, what it always has been since I've been here. Just provide physicality, get rebounds, um, just play hard, play, you know, smart, try to, try to make the, the smart play. Uh, and obviously if I get in the post, uh, I can score. So just go do that when I, when I have the chance. Justin. Yeah, Poppy, you just talked about it a little bit, but is there an emphasis brought to you from the coaches to bring that energy off the bench, or is that just something that you know you kind of just have in yourself? I just, I just have it. You know, I just gotta do it um, in order to be out there and play. So uh, I just bring it with me every time. David, you've been uh, you've been practicing against Caden for a couple of years now. How? Has he always been this solid of a shot blocker or uh, as a rim protector? Or is that something he's uh, developed since he's been? That's weird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> even in practice, I mean, we, we don't play as, like, much. You know, in practice, we just do more, like, like set uh, drills and stuff. But you don't, you don't see that in practice, like, ever, kind of, you know? And even, like, last year, it wasn't, like, that, that, much, like, that big of a deal. He didn't do that as much. But this year, we just... Going two games and he just gets like a couple of blocks every game, so just keep doing that, you know. Happy for him. Not really. I mean, he he's you know he's long, uh, uh, and athletic and stuff. So just you know, uh, it's not a surprise. It's just kind of weird that he just, you just don't see it all the time, you know. Great. Yeah. What what's worked for you guys on defense the last the last couple of nights? I think it's four straight games you guys have held opponents to 55 points or fewer. What's what's worked well for you guys the last few nights? Pack line. Um, you know, that's what Tony does. Uh, that's what we do. Um, you know, this Caden blocking shots when, when he has a chance. Uh, me, you know, like last game, I feel like I, I did a good job on their, their best guy, uh, not letting him get the ball and stuff. Today, walling up. I, I mean, everybody. Reese gets, like, steals every game. The same with Kie. Uh, I feel like our energy is, is good every time, so. He's just getting more used to each other, you know. We had new guys, um, Armand and, and Jaden, that are like literally uh, pretty much our best players, um, and they, they they weren't used to the system and stuff. So getting getting to get used to it and, and get to know each other better.